Today I'll show you three must-know transitions to make your edits flow seamlessly from one clip to another. Each one adds a unique feel to your footage, and by the end, you'll be able to make your cuts look professional and smooth. Start by going to the Transitions panel and searching for Zoom In. Drag it between your two clips. Then shorten the length of the transition for a quicker, cleaner effect. After that, increase the motion blur quality to 10. This makes the movement look much more natural and cinematic. Now you've got a simple but super effective zoom transition you can use in any project. Next, open the effects panel and drag an adjustment clip above the two clips where you want the transition. Trim it so it covers 10 frames before and 10 frames after the cut. Search for directional blur and drag it onto the adjustment clip. Set three keyframes for blur strength, one at the start, one in the middle, and one at the end. Increase the blur in the middle and set it to zero at the beginning and end. If you want, adjust the blur angle to change the motion direction. That's it. A smooth, stylish motion blur transition that's easy to customize. Quick tip. If you want to use this in future projects, open the Power Bin, Media Pool, then Three Dots, then Show Power Bins, and drag the adjustment clip into it. That way it's safe for all your future edits. There's a reason you're still watching this. Maybe we won't see each other after this video. So if you're enjoying it, hit subscribe and join me for more editing tips. For the final one, go to Video Transitions in the Effects tab and search for Push. Drag it between your clips and adjust the duration. Change the direction using the Direction button. For example, if you want the next clip to move downward, select Push Up. To make it smoother, go to the Ease tab and select Ease In and Out. Then increase the motion blur for a more realistic feel. For an even cleaner result, open the Keyframes panel. Click the Diamond icon, select the Push parameter, Find the last keyframe and drag its tail slightly to the left. This softens the motion and makes the transition flow perfectly. And that's it!